Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes of the word audio devotional. Today's topic in our What's in the Name series is Yahweh Shalom, part five, the secret. And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Judges, chapter six, verses 14 and 15. Then the Lord turned to him and said, go in this might of yours and you shall save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Have I not sent you? So he said to him, O my Lord, how can I save Israel? Indeed, my clan is the weakest in Manasseh, and I am the least in my father's house. And the Lord said to him, Surely I will be with you, and you shall defeat the Midianites as one man. The last day we started our discussion on Gideon and how God related to him. Now Gideon knew that his life was not entirely in line with what God was saying about him. And Gideon began to reel out a list of reasons why God's view of him was wrong. He was from the wrong clan. He was the least qualified in his father's house. There was so much militating against him. To someone listening to my voice this morning, you too have internalized these limiting beliefs and conditions. I am from the wrong country. I am in the wrong country. I do not have the qualifications. No one will help me. I have a disability. Gideon listed all these things, but listen to what God said. He said, surely I will be with you. God was saying, I am enough to silence all these things you have mentioned. All you need is is my presence. In the light of my presence, you become everything I have called you to be. Surely I will be with you and you shall defeat that same army that you were afraid of, which cost you to hide. My dear listeners, the Bible says God is no respecter of persons. If he said that to Gideon, he's saying that to you. What has he called you to do? Do it knowing that the one who called you is with you. Be conscious of the presence of God. Let the fact that the almighty creator is with you always be in your mind and in your heart. You are not alone. You are not fighting on your own terms. The Lord of hosts is with you, fighting for you, getting results for you, working out your victory. Can we for the rest of today meditate on the fact that God is with us? Let us carry that consciousness. That is the secret of transformation from the dimension of Gideon the coward to the dimension of Gideon the warrior. God is with you. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your word. Today, Lord, we pray for grace to continually be conscious of your presence. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audio devotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minuteaudiodevotional.com. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.